Hey Scorpio, hey guys, welcome back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. Okay, so let's jump into this channel message for you. I'm not sure what's going to come out. So take what resonates with you, pay the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. All right, so what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. All right, so we got the same energy again, conflicted, but from a different deck from the previous reading, where someone is a little confused. They're in indecisive. Hmm. Decisions, inconsistency, multiple choices. Someone doesn't know what they want. Someone could be very much inconsistent with the way they communicate with you. You hear from them today, then you don't hear from them for months, days, weeks at a time. Why is conflicted here? Now, also, this could be your energy where you are conflicted. You have multiple things that you got to choose from. Some type of decision. Tell me more. Conflicted. Thank you. All right. So we have clinging, holding on, obsessing, or watching. So someone doesn't know what they want, but someone is still holding on to you. Huh. Give me one more. Conflicted. They're still holding on, but don't know what they want to do, but they're being inconsistent. We have epiphany, realizations, awakenings, and understanding. So someone is going through like a wake-up call here, having an aha moment. Hmm. Okay, so it's a masculine energy that things are frozen between you and them. There's silence, no words coming from this individual. There's definitely some type of distance, separation going on between you and someone that there's no communication, nothing is happening. But someone is still waiting and hoping and wishing to hear from you. Could even be manifesting you with a hoping card. Hmm. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm going to pull out the white cards. I haven't used these in so long. <laughs> All right. Let's give these a little shuffle. So we got a masculine energy here who's conflicted. But they're going through some type of an awakening. Mm -hmm. And they're still holding on to you, even though there's silence, there's distance between you and them. All right. Two more shuffles. see bottom of the deck nine of swords someone is worried this masculine energy they're worried here having sleepless nights in their head about it all because someone definitely wants to come forward they don't want to be in separation anymore a little stressed out could be some type of nightmares this person's having could definitely be a cancer I feel like they're also in their head to the fact that they allowed you to leave, move on. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Tell me about conflicted. What is conflicted? Thank you. Ace of Wands and the reverse. Hmm. Because of someone's inconsistency. You're not motivated to give this another try. They're actually delaying things from moving forward. What is clinging? There's like a hold up, a standstill. Yeah. You're kind of losing motivation to even have this opportunity or even have any type of connection with this individual. The Judgment, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Energy. Hmm. I feel like this is that epiphany someone is going through. They're going through some type of awakening. I 
going through a phase where they possibly are asking the universe for help, assistance, forgiveness, have mercy on them. Nine of Pentacles, Justice. Hmm. This can also be you, Scorpio, with the judgment where because of this person's inconsistency in your life, you may have been still holding on waiting and watching hoping for this person to show up but they never did so some of you guys may have made a decision to just live the single life let things play out the way they're supposed to allow justice to play out and you just went ahead and just moved on with your life leave it all behind walk away from it yeah yep you freed yourself you started doing your own manifestations little by little day by day you took it one day at a time there's a lot that you learned on your spiritual journey as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, you took the initiative to heal yourself. You wasn't waiting for this person to come back. You freed yourself and started to heal. Yeah. Put yourself in more of a balanced energy. Started to find your purpose and the meaning for your own life. You basically went on a healing journey on your own. Yeah. Hmm. All right, tell me about Epiphany. What is Epiphany? Yeah, I'm hearing like someone gave up. You gave up waiting. You tried to hold on as much as you could, but eventually you had to get to the point where I got to do what's best for me. You had to call judgment on the whole situation. And you went to your guides, angels for help. Hmm. What is Epiphany? Someone could be a Scorpio Sagittarius Cuffs. What is Epiphany? Yeah. Yeah. Eight of Cups, you love. You waited and waited and you're like, I mean, I got to let go. You left it all behind. You went through this epiphany. So that's more of your energy. Because of this person inconsistency, be in and out, you say to hell with it. I don't have the desire to reconcile. I don't have the desire to start a new chapter. You don't have the energy or the motivation to even start over. Yeah. This was very disappointing. Yeah. Yep, you walked away from a one-sided twin flame connection or just a relationship. Yeah, you had to cut your losses. Even though it hurts, you had to cut your losses. You turned your pain into your power. You feel like this person failed you. You suffered great loss. You felt defeated. But you kept standing strong. Yeah. Some of you guys may even went to maybe a reader to get more clarity about it. Maybe even started going to counseling, started working on yourself. Yeah. Started tapping more into your spiritual gifts. Sometimes when you go on a journey, you started, and that's what happened with me, you know. My journey actually started from a heartbreak. The heartbreak turned into my power. Yeah, sometimes that's what it takes. Not for everyone, but for some people, you know. What is the Ace of Wands in the reverse? Mm -hmm. Everyone's journey starts in a different way. And sometimes the disappointments actually leads you to a different life. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in reverse and conflicted. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Thank you. I heard playing games just now. Seven of Swords. You feel like this person just almost doing this on purpose. They're not trying to make things right. They're constantly lying and being sneaky. Holding things up intentionally. Yeah. The Tower. Yeah. It's like they still was doing deceptive energy even though 
the relationship has already crumbled. This tower is also spiritual awakening as well. And again, you may have had some type of wake up call when it came to this connection, family, relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You may end up hearing from a person. I keep seeing cancer energy here. So some of you guys are dealing with the cancer or oh, just another water sign. But I feel like the minute that you woke up, you made your decision, you may hear from someone, this water sign. But by the time they reach out and try to come towards you, you're not going to want it because, yeah, I'm hearing they took too long. Why they took too long? It's because they was entertaining third parties. Yeah. They made you feel like a choice. Like you had to fight for their attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Wow. All right. What is the judgment and clinging? What is judgment and clinging for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, everyone. Leave what doesn't, okay? What is judgment and clinging? Card flew out in the reverse, Scorpio. Yeah, after so long, you may have waited and someone made you an option. They didn't put you first or they were just very inconsistent. Even though I feel like you guys still held on as much as you could. It came to a point where, you know what? Time is going by. Days are gone by. At this point, I have to give it to the universe. I got to surrender this. I have to do what's best for me because I don't feel like this person is going to change. I tried to hold on. But you guys went through a personal transformation from this situation. Yeah. This was more of a personal thing for you. Mm hmm Because they kept things stagnant. Nothing changed. You may have went through a part in your life where... You were afraid of change, but this situation may have forced you to go on your own journey. You see, you started to see things, recognize things, get a better understanding of who you was dealing with and really not so much about you, but really recognizing yourself. Yeah. Mm hmm Wow. Hmm. All right, so let's get the final message. What is the Eight of Cups and Epiphany? Eight of Cups and Epiphany. Thank you. All right, look at that. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be an air sign individual. So... This is more of now that you're leaving, I left you waiting, you held on, you let go, and now I want to come chasing after you. I want to catch you before you get too far, you know, but they didn't catch you in time. Now that you cut the cord between you and your person, now they want to come chasing after you. You may not see this coming, this may come out of nowhere that they may communicate with you, reach out to you. Yeah. But this is someone who held on, and this is someone who also may have been fighting some inner demons. Their shadow self that kept them distance from you, this masculine. It was all about pride and ego. Wanting, I'm hearing wanting control. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who wanted control. They definitely could have been stalking and watching you this whole time and just not saying anything. But the universe, God, gave you the clarity that you need when it comes to this individual. Yeah. This seemed like someone who thought, you know, it's like they may have been spying, watching you to see whether you may have been dealing with someone else. And they quickly realize that that's not the case. And that they're breaking their own heart, assuming the worst. Yeah, so now that's when someone wants to just pop up and say, hey, 
you know, I want you back. I miss you. You know, now they want to express their feelings and emotions. They want to come in and chase after you after they held up everything. Wow. It's like now you don't care. You don't want what they have to offer. Hmm. Wow. All right, Scorp. So this is what I have. Thank you all for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.